Thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're talking about chronic Lyme disease. We just recently published an important paper on Lyme disease which cites 157 different peer reviews. And within the paper, we believe it to be the first paper that really correlates chronic Lyme disease with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, Parkinson's, rheumatoid, and, and it really, rheumatoid arthritis, and it brings it together in an overview so that patients and doctors alike can take a look at it. We published the paper in the Open Journal of Medical Microbiology, um, and inside the paper we talk about a few key things. I'm just going to give some highlights. You can, I'll leave a link so that you can visit and read the paper on your own time. Uh, it talks about the genome of the infection, first of all. This is the most complicated bacteria in the world. You heard me. It's, it's very complicated, and it's no surprise to us why a number of doctors uh, misdiagnose it, aren't able to treat it properly because it's highly complicated. And I'm just going to point out a few key things within the paper that I think are quite interesting. We discussed the cellular process of the infection, but one of the big ones is the evasion of the immune system. Borrelia sheds its antigens, kind of like a snake that sheds its skin, making it hard for the immune system to spot and treat it effectively. And it just can, can do this, it shifts its, its surface antigens in such a way that the immune system can sometimes be useless in treating it unless it's targeted properly. Um, and I think that's an important part. Also, in the understanding of the spread of the infection or the epidemiology, this is in many, many doctors' back, uh, backyards, and they don't even know it's there. And it's really important to understand you know, the clinical diagnosis of the infection, how to do that, besides just what CDC gives us. Um, and understanding chronic Lyme disease is full symptoms, how it affects the neurological system, the brain, the cardiac, the joints, the you know, fatigue, and so forth. And I think we give a good, um, a good review of what's in the cited literature regarding uh, these symptoms and what to look for. But one of the things I, I want to point out that I think is also very important is in relationship to the immune system, understanding CD57, meaning CD57 is a natural killer cell particularly one that's depressed, you know, um, that can be another sign of Lyme disease. But what about looking at complement 4A, which can tell us whether or not a patient would respond to antibiotics at all, which is quite interesting since this is the most common prescribed method of treatment. And of course, we believe there are smarter ways to deliver it and target it to patients. And that's what we've been doing for a long time, along with treating the antiviral, antifungal, uh, co-infections co that are with, the, with uh, uh, Borrelia or Lyme disease itself. Also, understanding how to properly uh, rebuild the immune system. And, you know, the, how many, this disease is so misdiagnosed, it's, 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 very unco it's very common to get a misdiagnosis on it. And what I want to point to is the, that the, and I'm just going to point here to the discussion that we have in the paper. I want you to take a look at this. I think this is the most interesting thing. Look at the symptoms. First of all, you see chronic Lyme disease, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, and Parkinson's disease. And we could have added others here in the study. But look at the symptoms from fatigue to loss of concentration to joint pain, poor sleep, mood problems, depression, anxiety, which is very common, muscle skeletal, neurological presentation, and muscle stiffness. Lyme disease had a 100% correlation with the same symptoms of fibromyalgia, which we believe is widely the fibromyalgia diagnosis just tells you what symptoms you have. It doesn't tell you what's causing. We think there's an infectious relationship here. The same is true of chronic fatigue, rheumatoid arthritis, and even Parkinson's or Parkinsonian-like symptoms. So this is a very interesting paper. Uh, we really encourage you to take a look and read it. Um, and if you have any questions to contact us, I mean, we've been doing this work for over a decade, but we're getting better at honing therapies and technologies. just want to share some of this data with our, our colleagues and with patients because we believe that Good information in the peer-reviewed journal is starting to get better, and publishing this information is important to really expand the proper treatment of chronic Lyme disease. So I wish you the best of health. God bless you. And if there's any way we can help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Take care. Have a good day.